So now let us start looking into sorting the data. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Once you have the key, the uh, and based on be, based on that key, you can use the API called sort by key. And by default, data will be sorted in ascending order. If you want to get in descending order, you just say sort by key false, and it will get you in descending order. So let us have a look at what we have done so far. So we have daily revenue per product name here. And let us see the output of it. For I in take off 100, print off 5. And you can see the result. And you can see uh, data is uh, uh, completely random. There is no proper order. If you want to sort the data in ascending order, uh, based on this key, you can just say product name dot sort by key, and it will use as we have two columns in the key or two attributes in the key. It is considered as a, a composite key, and then it will sort the data in ascending order by the first element in the key, and then within uh, within that uh, if there are multiple entries. Uh, based upon a value as part of the first element, the second element uh, will be sorted in ascending order. That's the default behavior. Let us see that. Now you can see data is sorted in ascending order by date and then ascending order by uh, our, uh, product name. If you just say false here instead of just sort by key, by default it will take true. Uh, as a parameter value. Instead, if we pass false to the argument and hit enter, now the data is in descending order by uh, based on the composite key. First on the order date, and then within the order date, it is sorting. It is sorted in descending order by product name. But if we look at our problem statement, we want our data to be in ascending order by date and descending order by revenue per product okay i don't want uh, uh, the data to be completely in ascending order it has to be in ascending order by the uh, leading column and then descending order by the uh, order by revenue per product and if you look at our data the key contains date and product name and the value contains revenue okay so to apply sort by key, we have to change the key. Key has to be date and revenue, and then uh, value can be the product name. Okay, and that we can achieve. By applying map, map function. Dot map, lambda, rec. Okay, and then we have key and value, and this has to be part of a tuple. So this is how the data should be represented. And the value is nothing but the product name, which is this one. And that can be retrieved by saying rec of zero of one. And then key is rec of zero of zero and value is rec of one which is nothing but revenue and if i just apply sort by key on this let me do that sorted equal to if i do sort by key on this after applying the map function. So I need to copy both the lines of code. Okay, I think I missed the bracket. 
let me see. yeah one bracket is missing here now if i actually try to print the data for i in take off 100 print off i you can see the data is in ascending order by both date and revenue but i need the data to be in descending order by revenue as the revenue is of numeric type i can just say minus and negate the um, revenue so that data can be sorted in descending order without making a lot of changes to the code okay but if the trailing field is not numeric type like float uh, like order uh, revenue then negating will not work if it is after string then negating will not work probably you might have to use group by key by using the data as key and then uh, apply custom logic to sort the um, data in descending order if the trailing field in the composite key uh, on which data needs to be sorted is non-numeric type but as it is numeric type we have uh, the co concept of negating the revenue so that the data is sorted in descending order now if i go back and see the results You can see data is sorted in uh, ascending order by date and then within the date data is sorted in descending order by revenue now when we actually print our uh, the final output should not have these minus values okay so we have to fix it for that for each input record which have order date and um, uh, order revenue as key and product name as value I have to convert it into order date comma order item subtotal comma product name. So we need to use map after sorting the data and then um, we can uh, save it later, uh, as part of the later topics. Okay, so first let us get the data the way we should save ultimately. So here sorted results equal to dot map and as part of the map function it takes one argument which is of type uh, tuple and i have to convert it into a comma separated string so i can say rec of zero of zero plus comma plus rec of zero of one plus comma plus rec of one if i just uh, preserve it like that rec of zero of one which is this is not uh, uh, in its uh, uh, correct value it is negated so we have to type we have to convert it into its original value and we just can re-negate it so that we get the positive values to, values out of it and it is of type numeric and we are trying to concatenate with string in python the uh, it it will not uh, take care implicitly uh, so we have to typecast um, the data which is of type float into string by using str function okay now i can run this logic and then i can say for i in dot take off 100 print of i and hit enter now you got the data the way you want it is sorted by date in ascending order and then revenue in descending order and also you got the name all of them you got it comma separated and now uh, going further we will see how we can save it into uh, hdfs um, and then we will wrap, uh, wrap up the course park uh, with few exercises